Check out what's going to happen at the beginning in just a few minutes. Lane two hold. Lane four forward six inches. Yes, this is the final of the Margie Fetter Graham Trophy. Four hold. In lane one, we have Slack. Lane two, two Masters two Coach. Lane three, Avalon. Lane four, Loyola. Lane five, River City. And lane six and seven, we have the two teams out of Colorado, Boulder and Mile High Rowing Club. They're in the process of aligning. back four inches. Lane two, hold. Lane four, forward, six inches. <laughs> The alignment judge will actually uh, move the boats back and forth a matter of just a few inches so that they make sure that everyone gets a fair start. Lane four, come forward one foot. Hold lane four. Race 87. Two back. C Six final. inches. Slack. Masters coach. Avalon. Two holes. Loyola, River City, Boulder, Mile High. Lane four, forward six inches. Attention. The boats are aligned. Sit easy, sit easy. We have a slight hold. Lane four is getting the point. Lane four, forward six inches. Ladies, we will go to a countdown start. Hold four. With the addition of the uh, wind this afternoon, uh, they're having to uh, work a little bit harder to keep the boats uh, directed uh, Five, down the course. Four. Three. Two, one, attention, go! All the boats are away and on course. At the start, we can see that most of the boats are pretty much even. It appears that lane two, Masters Coach has taken a very slight lead, a little bit more than a bow marker, over lane four, Loyola, which is dead even with lane seven, Mile High Rowing Club. Looks like lane one's lack is a little off the pace. Now, out in lane seven, we see Mile High Rowing Club moving up. They have about half a bow length lead as we go past the 250 meter mark. Proceeding down the course, the order is Mile High Rowing Club, followed by River City and Masters Coach in lane two, then lane three, Avalon, lane four, Loyola, lane six, Boulder, and lane one, Slack. Everyone is keeping about the same pace. There doesn't seem to be any particular boat that's making a move on any others at this point. The first boat has arrived at the 500 meter mark, and that would be out in lane seven, Mile High Rowing Club. We have a little bit of a move by River City up uh, into second place, followed by lane two, Master Coach, then lane three, Avalon, there, followed by lane four, Loyola, lane six, Boulder, and now we see Slack moving up in lane one. A 
approaching the 750 meter mark. You see that out there in lane seven, Mile High Rowing Club continues to lead, but lane two, Masters Coach is coming up on them. They've pulled a little bit ahead of lane three, Avalon, and lane five, River City. Lane four, Loyola. Lane six, Boulder. Excuse me, we now have a, a new fifth place, sixth place, which is Slack, has moved ahead of Boulder in lane six. The women's Master C final on the race course right now. And in lane number one, that is Lack Rowing Club. In lane two, the Masters Coaching out of Brewster, Massachusetts. In lane number three, Avalon Rowing Club. They come to us by way of Connecticut. In lane number four, Loyola Marymount University in the Los Angeles area. In lane number five, River City Rowing Club in uh, the home uh, place for them, West Sacramento. In lane number six, it is Boulder Community Rowing. And lane number seven, Mile High Rowing Club out of Parker, Colorado. The C category in Masters, uh, you need to be aged between 43 and 49. So as long as the average age of the boat is uh, come, falls between 43 and 49, uh, that's okay. You can have them older, you can have them younger, as long as the average falls between those, those two ages. We have a number of crews in this race from Colorado, Mile High, Boulder. We have one from Massachusetts, Masters Coaching. And we have one from Connecticut in Avalon. So we have a, a truly pan-continental feel in this race. Defending California's honor, Slack, Loyola, and River City. Mile high all the way out there in lane number seven continues to be on the lead. They are being shadowed on the shore side area in lane number two by Masters Coaching. Then looking at the Avalon Rowing Club, they would be just outside of Masters Coaching Avalon in lane number three. River City out there in lane number five has closed down quite a bit of space. And then the trailing crews would be in lane number one, Zlack, Loyola Marymount, and Boulder Community. About 600 meters to go. And mile high on the outside, continuing to move along, but Masters Rowing along the shore side is certainly in the hunt. And we'll check and see when they come to these buoy markers at the 500 meter rock, uh, mark. It appears that mile high is still on it with Masters in second position. Outside of Masters would be Avalon, I think it's very tight between Masters Coaching in lane two and Mile High out in lane out in lane seven. Uh, we'll see as the angle unwinds, Alan, but I've got a feeling that in the second part of that third 500, Masters Coaching put the push on Mile High, and given the distance between them, it's very difficult for those crews to really have a good idea of how close they are to each other. But as this uh, angle unwinds, I think you might find that Masters Coaching might have crept into the lead. Masters Coaching along the shoreline, making their move just outside of the 500 meter to go mark. And it certainly has paid off for them. A little bit difficult to gauge when you're fighting a crew that is so far outside to keep track of where everybody happens to be. This is Masters near side and mile high on the outside. They are still very close. It looks like mile high may have gotten to that uh, string of buoys a little bit ahead of Masters coaching. We'll keep a closer eye on it. On the outside, 
Mile high, then Masters. They're not separated by even a seat. Mile high on the outside, Masters on the inside. Then comes Avalon rowing. Oh, this is going to be a humdinger, Alan. And this is going to go down to whoever last gets their blade in the water and sends it away. Masters on the shore side, Mile Island on the outside. As they move towards our finish line, Avalon also trying to stay in the hunt, but they probably don't have enough water to be able to catch up. It's coming down close, Masters on the near side, that's mile high on the far side. They are bow marker to bow marker, and that is way too close to call. We are going to give a slight nod possibly to Masters, but we'll have to wait and see the official warning on that particular race. Avalon does finish in third position, and uh, moving along outside of them would be River City in position number four along the shoreline. This is Lack Rowing, apparently nailing down the fifth position with Loyola Marymount in sixth and Boulder trailing. From this angle and from what we saw on the screen, we're going to give a slight edge possibly to Masters Coaching, but that was way too close to call as we had a thrilling finish between Masters Coaching along the shore side in lane number two and all the way outside, the leader almost from the outset, mile high rowing. Next up on our schedule will be the men's master C final. And this will once again involve seven crews as they spread across our 2010 San Diego Crew Classic course. And we'll pick up the start line information as soon as it's available to watch for the start of the 